Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we find out about a way that folks can get a military experience and raise money for some worthy causes. And my guest today, Kyle Lemansky, a member yeah, of sir. the Student Veterans Association. Kyle, thanks for joining me here today. Thank you, sir. And as I mentioned, uh, there's going to be a fundraiser that's going to have a, it's a military themed fundraiser, something new and different. Uh, yeah. that we I've probably I've never heard of anything like this before. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. It's a ruckathon, right? Is what you're calling yes, it? It's uh, a, tell us a little about it. It's a ruckathon. It's think of it more like a, a walkathon, but we're adding a 20 pound backpack, or as a military term, rucksack. So ruckathon, and it's just so people can get a general feel of what it's like for the military to you know. Most of our us we do like six hours or excuse me four hours with a seventy pound backpack, rucksack. And so now tell us a little about the how this is going to work. Uh, they're going to be wearing this back this rucksack. Uh, and how what's the actual mechanics involved in this? Obviously, you've got the rucksack, you've got a walkathon. Obviously, they're two and two together. But how what's the mechanics involved with this? So. As far as mechanical wise, it will be four to ten people on a team. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the more people you have on the team, the more, you know, it's easier for you to do. So, um, generally, six people on a team, six hours, one person each hour. And then they just go around the track for one hour and then hand it off to the next team member. And then they go around it until six hours is completed. And so, basically, you know, walking around with this heavy back uh, pack on their back uh, to raise money. Now, what's the, what's the fundraising element of this? As far as fundraising goes, mm -hmm. it's going for two charities, okay. Wounded Warrior Project and Lone Survivor Foundation. Lone Survivor Foundation being Marcus Luttrell, the man behind Lone Survivor the movie. Mm -hmm. That's his foundation that he's created to give back to warriors getting back into the civilian life. And of course, Wounded Warrior, uh, a famous charity to helping uh, mm -hmm. soldiers that uh, have been wounded in, in battle and making the adjustment back to everyday mm -hmm. life. So obviously, the Student Veterans Association would have reasons to be able to want to help out something like this. Why, why, why did you decide to, to do, take part and do, and do something like this? I think as of right now, like Wounded Warrior Project has always been the famous one. People know Wounded Warrior Project. Lone Survivor Foundation, it's just one of those hot topics. Lone Survivor movie is out right now. Everybody you know, is like wanting to see that movie. So Lone Survivor Foundation was the second one we chose to pick. And so, uh, but this uh, fundraiser, you know, you could have done anything. Uh, there's any kind of options out there, but you chose something military themed. So how did, how did this whole process come like, hey, this is something we can tie this into a military themed fundraiser. What was the thought process behind choosing this to, to, to be your fundraiser? It, it was honestly just one of those sort of quick little things. We were thinking about doing, you know, a walkathon but or a dance-a-thon, but that really doesn't go with our organization. So we're doing a walkathon, everybody knows the walkathon, but now we add the military element, the rucksack. So two and two together, just the rucathon started. That started from there. It allows people to, to raise money and get the experience of, a small experience obviously, because uh, mm -hmm. you're not giving them the full rucksack probably that you would have in the military, but a small taste of, of what it's like and experience what, what you got to do to, to be a part of the military. So. Yeah, it's a small part and it's not, we're not going to give them like a 60 pound backpack. This is 20 pounds, you know, something modern like most of the college students have a 20 pound backpack on the whole <laughs> class yes. day. And now, in addition to that, you said you talked about multiple team members to get involved, but only one person at a time on the track. So what are the other people going to be doing while there's while that person's walking the track? We uh, started doing mini events. We'll do like a push-up competition, sit-ups, three-legged race. And then starting at 9 o'clock, we will do uh, Lone Survivor the movie. We'll play it on the middle of the soccer field and watch that, and then that'll be it. The cap of the night. There go. And now, this, uh, we haven't even talked about time and place and all that sort of stuff. Uh, when and where is this going to be located? It'll be located at the soccer track complex, located right next to the Trojan Arena, Saturday, November 15th from 5 to 11 p.m. And gates will open at 4.30. Anybody can enter, but and it, attendance or mm -hmm. attendance is free. Okay. Uh, participation is $10. Per person. Okay, ten dollars per person to be a team member on yes. one of these teams. So, and now, if anyone wants to get involved and be a part of it, how can they sign up? Where can they get information about that? If they want to, they can contact Student Veterans at Troy.edu okay. or 
They can call us in the office at 334-670-3856. All right, and is there a deadline to sign up for this? Uh, November 12th. November 12th. So right before the event, there's a chance to sign up. So mm -hmm. well, here's hoping that uh, you get some uh, teams and some participation out there to uh, help out a pair of worthy causes uh, to help our veterans, uh, both wounded and trying to adjust to life. So I want to thank you for, for being here and putting on this event. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.